she made that very clear. I'm her prostitute. Actor model Josh Kloss is accusing Katie of treating him like a prostitute and exposing his private parts in front of a group of her friends. This is my co-star Josh. He's my lover in this music video. Sorry. Yeah. Josh claims the assault didn't happen while shooting the Teenage Dream music video in 2010. That's where they met. Let's go all the way tonight. Josh claims it happened months later after her breakup from husband Russell Brand when he brought a friend to meet her at her costume designer Johnny Wujek's birthday party. Josh says he hugged Katie. Then he alleges she pulled out his pants and underwear and exposed his private parts to her friends. Johnny and Katie's jewelry designer Marcus Molinari defended the singer reportedly saying Katie would never do something like that. Josh responded to doubters on Instagram. If you guys want to flip the, the card over, and have me be a pop singer who grabs Katie by the bra and exposes her breasts to others. I said, look at that. Claus says he wants to share his message that men too can be victims of women with power. So far, not a great month for Katie. She lost the Dark Horse copyright lawsuit. She and her team were ordered to pay nearly $3 million. Wow, no surprise backlash on social media from all Katie's fans has been brutal. Yes, it has. And as of our broadcast deadline, Katy Perry's reps have not responded to our request for a statement. If you love that video, you're going to love everything on the Access YouTube channel. So hit the subscribe button. You can thank me later. Hit it.